of screenshots. I'm not a video editor and I never claim to be, but uh, <laughs> as is probably pretty obvious. But yes, after 5,000-ish hours, almost exactly, I think like this is slightly over 5,000 hours, we are going to max. Um, and I decided to do it at Tears of Guthics because I think uh, it's a pretty apt you know, characterization of my time on this game, just tears, misery, etc. Uh, not actually, but yeah. So we're gonna awkwardly go through this uh, Tears of Guthics game. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna talk a little bit about basically how I trained every skill and that sort of thing. Man, this tear sound is <laughs> annoying. I wanted the sound on so I could hear the maxing sparks, but uh, I forgot there would be these tears and I honestly I this is like one of the most hated things for me in the game like I don't know why I find it so tilting but like you know you leave and like the one you're on turns to the blue one right away and it's like just tilting but oh, this is exciting I actually I never thought I would max an account let alone an Iron Man so this is gonna be pretty cool to see Um, -de -do. You know, I, sh I could have thought this through a little bit better because this does take a while and I didn't really have anything to talk about during all of this first part, but yeah, it is what it is. I went very hard this past month. I have a ton of like uh, screenshots and stuff to show you guys. I think, I'm not sure the exact number of 99s, I forget. We'll see, but I think it was like six five or six 99s in this past month just to finish off maxing and smithing was last of course uh, not my least favorite skill though by far I'd say yeah this does take a while 
I didn't really think this through very well, did I? I, I could have just like, I had like three exam randoms. I could have just saved a lamp and just gotten it instantly. But, you know, this is more fun. And I thought the tears would be funny because it's like, I'm crying, but I don't know. <laughs> I think it was a bad idea in honesty. Yeah, this is like one of my least favorite activities actually, which is kind of funny that I'm doing it for like maxing. But yeah, so I am gonna go through a ton of screenshots with you guys after I max and uh, go over all of my plans because I have so many plans. Uh, the meme of like I can finally play the game is like actually a real thing for me. Like I feel like I barely started playing to be honest. Like. You may have noticed there is no one in this cave with me. I'm not having a party because uh, honestly, like, it, it doesn't feel like that big of a deal to me now. I mean, it is like maxing an iron in 2022, like Omega Lol, but all right, here we go. Let me get my share X ready here. Yay! We've entered the mid game. Pog. Yes, we have maxed. Oh, congratulations, you have reached the highest possible total level. Let's uh, extract some dopamine. Actually, let me hop first. I think the, uh, the first thing I do after I max is log out and go touch grass, right? But we're not going to touch grass. We're going to log directly back in, of course, because we're not going to touch grass. Let's extract the dopamine. And yeah, let's go get this max cape or the multiple max capes. I've never done this before, so let's try and find where it is. Yeah, that looks very, very nice. Oh, wait, this is wrong. It's the Warriors Guild, right? Oh, it's up here. Wait, is it up there? Yeah, it is up there. Okay. I'm just lost. Classic. Let me get out the map here and not get lost again. <laughs> Typical Max player, just, you know. You max, you spend 5,000 hours on the game and you just have like no idea where anything is. That's great. <laughs> You're on a streak. Yeah, he's saying that because I just, before I recorded this, I went and got like my mud skipper hat and flippers for the collection log and for uh, like seaweed runs. So, kind of a meme. The collection log stuff. You know, one nice thing about not having a party is no one's here to like troll me by door jamming me or like, <laughs> like mining this thing in front of me. So, pretty cool. How do I get by here? What? So like, do I sidestep it like that? Okay, yeah. I swear, every video I've seen someone maxing, like, this is, like, the hardest part in the game, just, like, <laughs> doing those three obstacles. Okay, Mac. What do you have in your sack, Mac? Your cape, can I have it? Maybe. Okay. Wow. That's cool, man. That is very, very cool. I feel like one of these nerds, you know, I finally made it to the Virgin Island. Pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like learn where like all the features are because this thing is busted. It's like the most overpowered item in the game, but we're not done. I have all my stuff here to make all of my other capes here, which we're gonna do because I wanna have them in my bank. My bank is like, I organized my bank just for this uh, video, so 
Okay, I don't care about the wise old man. I don't really want to read all the lore. I'm not that nerdy. Okay, Infernal Max Cape. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm not going to keep the hoods. I'm not sure if they alk for anything, but... What do you have in your sack? We've asked him like five times what he has in his sack. Just like, give it to me already. Okay. Mythical cape. This is just going to be for like corp, basically. That's it. But I wanted it anyway, just because it looks better than the original, I think. I actually like the color scheme of this a lot. Yes, pay the man. Okay, let's do this one next. Imbued Guthic's cape. Oh, I didn't realize how blue it was going to be. I thought it was just like green. But I guess it's like more blue than I thought. Green is my favorite color, so that's why I use the green cape. But let's get the assembler now, and that'll be the last one that we need. Wait, what? Sell? No. I almost just sold it, I think. Can I have it? Assembler Max Cape. This is another nice looking one, I think. Looks good with the full crystal. And I think that makes it into like the Assembler Max Cape. But yeah. Hooray, we maxed! Let's uh, thank them all for the dopamine. Okay. So, yeah, we maxed. And, um,. It did take me 5,000 hours. Obviously, that's including everything. That's including all the time bank standing. Uh, I'm not sure what my EHP is. I think last time I checked, it was like 1,600 maybe. Uh, and I think I have around 650 efficient hours bossed. So in total, I think I, I checked like a week ago. My efficiency was like 0.44. Which isn't the worst thing. That's I've from what I've seen. That's like a fairly typical, um, typical ratio of like time spent in game versus time efficiently played. So I'm like pretty happy with that. Uh, but let me go over uh, what I did this past month because uh, it wasn't even a month. It was like two weeks since my last video. In my last video, I had. Let me just count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so it was six 99s to go, and I got them all within this like two and a half week period. Um, so let me just show you guys. I have a ton of screenshots, but this was my month on Temple. Uh, so as you can see, 222 hours. Very nice number to finish on. Uh, most of the grinds you can see took like 35 hours to finish so like um pretty much every skill i had around like 30 to 40 hours remaining in which was nice it, like none of them were like really too long compared to any of the other ones the longest was construction and that was the one that felt the longest for sure uh, mahogany homes i did for most of that from 85 to like 98 and then 98 to 99 I did with myth capes but yeah basically like 30 uh 35 to 40 hours and basically all those skills so the first one I got was 99 cooking this one I got I think like the same day or like the next day after I made that ramble because um I did it with wines and it was obviously so fast. So that was 95 to 99 cooking basically in a day, which was extremely easy. Um, the next thing I did was I went and killed like 10,000 green dragons and banked 99 prayer. And here was 99 prayer. Um, what the? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, 99 prayer, and uh, I wanted to show you guys this additional screenshot as well. This random guy, Days Rule. I don't. Know. Who is that? Some random killing me at the at the chaos altar, which I thought was funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah, shout out to Bay's Rule, whoever that may or may not be. Um, but yeah, that was 90 to 99 prayer. That only took. It was like 20ish hours to bank all the bones. I uploaded a video of the method I was doing to bank all the bones. It was like 250 to 300 bones when I was reclining, not like going super hard, try hard on it. Um, so yeah, it was like 300 bones an hour to bank it, which I think is 150K-ish prayer per hour banked. And then using the bones obviously is super easy and fast. So that was pretty fun. I don't hate that. and. I think actually I am going to go back to Green Dragons to do like hard clues for some of the master clue items. Um, I think I would prefer doing that over jellies just because it feels more macro efficient to get the prayer XP from doing Green Dragons and the crafting XP as well. It's pretty nice. Um, so next I did sort of a mini grind and banked. Um, I did some Blast Furnace. And I said in the last rumble that I was gonna like liquidate everything like into plate bodies, like like tons of mithril and addy plate bodies and alk everything. And then I would use that money to bank a bunch of broad arrows. But instead I made 211,000 mithril darts and 145,000 adamant darts instead of doing broad arrows. Um, and that's because I really dislike the whole process of making broad arrows like the cutting of the log no way holy 200 mil all here i come um i really dislike the process of god this just looks awesome um i really dislike the process of making broad arrows the whole cutting of the log and the attaching of them it just feels really slow and tedious so i made darts uh while doing herbivore but that's how I got 91 to 99 fletching. And you'll see in my bank, I'll show you how many darts I have. But it was just so fast, the two methods together, doing herbivore and fletching. I was getting, like, when I was focusing, like, going hard, over 400k an hour fletching and, like, 150k hunter, which is just insane. It was so easy. Um, but, yeah, that, that was 99 fletching. And then... I planned it so I would get 99 Fletching and 99 Hunter around the same time. So this was like later that night, I think, like a few hours later. 99 Hunter at Herbivore. I caught 995 Herbivores. If you're interested in the loot, here it is. Uh, the herbs aren't labeled, but you can figure out what they are from the coloring of them. Uh, it's pretty good for Torstals. Um, and actually there's one more thing to show with herbivore, which is I got the herby pet uh, And I'm not gonna say I'm sad to get the herby pet But it is sort of disappointing because this was one of the grinds I was really really looking forward to doing because herbivore is so relaxing and so nice to do It's just like one of the best things um, to sort of chill out and relax and you know catch some herbivore so getting this pet it's sort of forces me to do chins now for like post max hunter which is fine i need the pet anyway but i was sort of looking forward to doing herbie but i can't be mad it's a pet so yeah i'm sorry for anyone dry on this this is definitely a very spooned herbivore pet uh next i did construction here's 99 construction uh, and i mentioned what i did i did from 85 to 98 i did uh mahogany homes with mahogany planks and i really don't like mahogany homes this was definitely like the hardest part of this past uh like two and a half week grind that i did or like the hardest like 40 hours because it just feels sticky and what i mean by sticky is it's sort of like um before they removed the room crafting delay on altars you know how you had like four ticks just standing there doing nothing that's what it feels like to me when you're doing mahogany homes because you make each piece of furniture and you're like spam clicking to go to the next spot but you're like stalled out by making the furniture so it just feels bad to me it doesn't feel like responsive and i actually much preferred making the mythical capes um obviously mahogany homes is good 
Um, it's good, like, uh, use of mahogany planks, and it's something that I'm going to do, at, like, later. And it will probably feel nicer not having, like, the pressure of, like, having to max. Um, but, yeah, it was definitely, like, the least enjoyable thing I did. But I can show you... This was the loot from 7,265 points from Mahogany Homes, if you're interested. Uh, and the loot that you get from doing that much. Um, yeah, this was around 7k points, so you can sort of see. There's nothing too useful in here, but it's nice to get uh, some soft clay and that sort of stuff. So yeah, that was 99 construction. And then... Um, from banking all those darts, like I did like 300k darts, I got from 88 to 94 smithing, and then from 84 to 99, I did uh, World Hop Blast Furnace, uh, and that was actually really fun. I actually really enjoy that method. I know a lot of people find World Hop Blast Furnace Gold very annoying, but um, I don't know if I just got lucky and was doing it when there wasn't a lot of competition or what, but I really didn't uh, find it that annoying. The only annoying part about it is I wanted to have sticky keys on and something like resting on my spacebar so that I wouldn't have to like press shift and spacebar every time I like withdrew gold from the bank or whatever. And um, oh, shout out Rice Cup. Uh, withdrew gold from the bank and like collected it from the hopper or whatever so it meant like I couldn't type in twitch chats or on discord or anything which was sort of annoying but yeah that is uh everything I did this past month in terms of the 699s that I got to finish max so yeah we are now maxed let me just see do these have alk value or are they just useless okay I'm just gonna drop all of these I don't care I think the hoods are like some of the ugliest things. Um, okay, let's organize all these max capes. So I put this bank filler in here so I could put this max cape up here. So I can clear that now. And now let me do these. I'm sort of scared I'm gonna mess this up. So I'm gonna put them in here first. Okay, now let's drag this up here. Put this where the assembler was and put this one here and this where the myth kit was. Okay, so let's get into the bank now. As I said, I did organize my bank just for this and <laughs> it might not look very organized, but to me, it makes sense. Everything is where it is like it's meant to be in my brain at least. So don't judge me for having like an aesthetically unappealing bank if uh, you find it disgusting. Uh, it's to my liking, so that's that's what matters. So here's the first tab. I have my cash, my runes, useful teleports, diary items, some other things, uh, some tabs, um, some less useful runes or combo runes down here. I have my rune crafting stuff, my <laughs> 27 day alt left over from 99 rune crafting, and my pure essence. I'm planning to do some post max rune crafting for sure i definitely want to finish the guardians of the rift log uh craft blood runes death runes for fosani uh and then the rest of the stuff here is just like jewelry miscellaneous stuff this for lava runes but yeah that's the first tab so the next tab is farming slash birdhouse tab and i actually I'm planning to sort of just use bank tab layouts for bird runs and stuff just because it's easier to withdraw everything you need because you can duplicate items so you don't have to like click four individual logs but uh, I've always had a tab like this so it's just sort of like muscle memory to go here and withdraw everything so yeah this is that there's nothing really noteworthy to talk about in here uh, I don't think anyway yeah I don't really see anything worth talking about uh, here's crafting slash fletching i have all my gems my hides gold and silver bars giant seaweed molten glass and sand um seaweed runs is definitely something i'm going to be doing post max and i'm going to get a lot more into what my post max plans are because i have a ton a ton of post max plans that's going to be the most interesting part of this video <laughs> i don't know like who really likes to watch bank videos but 
I don't know. It might be interesting to some of you. I have some battle staffs that I'm like, I, I honestly have no idea if I'm ever going to make these all into like air staffs and out them, but they're there. Uh, and just fletching stuff because I sort of group fletching and crafting together in my mind for some reason. And here is the other skilling tab. I have my mining stuff and ores and coal bag, gem bag. I have my lumberjack and the logs. Uh, I'm going to get rid of these at some point and just have the two logs that are like ever really in my bank and magic and use, but I used all the magic and use for fletching. I have some bars, some planks, and obviously this is like messed up. It's not like perfectly organized, but I think if I swap that, it will be better. Okay. Um, I have this. I'm not really sure if I'm going to do like winter tot. Maybe if I get a harm from nightmare, but yeah. And then construction, some planks, thieving stuff, some hunter stuff. Uh, as I said, I am going to be doing some black chins, I think, for the chin pet post max. Um, but yeah, that's the skilling tab. As you can see, my ores are running very low because I did all these ores for 99 smithing. Uh, here's herblore, and this tab might just look horrendously ugly to you, but this is uh, how it makes sense in my brain. I have like my vials of water and stuff up here, and then I have each herb, its unfinished potion, and the secondary like in a line. So like Renar, Snapegrass, Avento, and the fungi, just like going down, and that's how I have it organized. And I do have like a decent amount of herbs ready to go. Um, definitely farming and herb lore is probably going to be one of my primary focuses, because when I'm doing PVM, obviously, I need to keep up on potions and stuff. But yeah. Not too interesting. This is another tab which will probably look disgusting to you, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, I put my fishing stuff in my like cooking and po potion tab just because that's like how I group them together in my brain. But I have stuff to catch like angler fish and crab wands in here, uh, and I have all like my four dose potions and some like pre pots here, and. Basically what I do is I periodically decant all the potions into four doses and put like all the other doses down here. So like really I only use the first like whatever, like five by eight or whatever this is part of this tab and just take the four doses. And I never use this and just drag like any other dose potions down here. So here's probably the most interesting tab of the bank. This is the gear. Uh, Wow, I need to like get used to seeing these. It's like not even like real to me yet. I need to give it like a few weeks to set in. I think that just like the convenience of being maxed and everything. But yeah, I have my melee gear here, full bandos, primordials. I have all my zenites, ferocious gloves. I have a blade, which hopefully will be replaced with a scythe at some point. I have the avernic, warhammer, lance, tans, helm. Uh, here's the range gear. This at some point will be replaced by armadil and a twisted bow, but at the moment, no. I have my mage gear. Hopefully this is replaced with, uh, air, uh, not arms, ancestral top and ancestral hat. I have void eternals. So I have like all three sir boots. I have a bulwark, a spectral, a dragonfire ward, brimstone ring, bludgeon, ornate gmall for fosani i have like some more welfare type stuff down here i might do some like revs and stuff just for fun here is the uh, 137k adamant darts and 211k mithril darts i made for 99 fletching so that was that pretty cool uh, i need to get these imbued and i need to get a archer's ring from dk's that's one thing i'm missing uh, is there anything interesting Tentacle whip, 14 whips, abyssal dagger, a Zamorak and spear for corp, cannon and 85k cannonballs from corp, Sarah sword, ACB, god sword set minus the Zamorakian god sword, uh, full armadil, and most of the barrow sets. Let me just show you rather than just trying to like figure it out in my brain. I'm uh, missing. 
two Barris items, the Varex Flail and the Derek's Blade Body. So that's one thing that I'm gonna, definitely going to have to work on. Dragon Sword. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. That's everything interesting and some not interesting stuff. Um, this is another disgustingly disorganized tab. This is like loot and miscellaneous, uh, like drops and things in here. This is just a tab of like alks and some like stackable like currency types of things. Um, yeah, this tab really is probably never going to get organized. This is just like alks and stuff that I need to like process sort of. Um, definitely now that I'm maxed I have more time to sort of like work through all these alks and stuff uh, which I'm planning on doing like I would like to just sort of liquidate tons of this stuff like look at all these hides and everything and like make all this jewelry like that would be I think quite fun to like liquidate everything in here so that might be something I work on uh, and I obviously have tons of alks here's the volatile orb sitting pretty uh, and then this is just like quest and various like random clue and teleport items um, this tab I'm going to fill with like master clue items once I get them uh, that's where I think I'm going to put like all the fallow items and just like other like eerie step or remote clue items I think but yeah that is the bank I don't think I really missed anything in here but yeah, let's put this back on and let's talk a little bit about what the plans are. So, I mean, I joke that I was entering the mid game right when I maxed, but to be honest, that's sort of how I feel because, um, to be honest, like, I feel like I just started playing this account. Uh, I know that like may sound weird, but it does feel that way. Like I have so many plans. So let's get into it a little bit. Um, side grinds, this really hasn't changed like since my first ramble. Um, these are things that I can like always just sort of like do AFK, chill, and uh, work on. Just like useful things like getting stamps from Artie, Amethyst, doing keeping up with like RC for runes. Because I, I dislike Shopscape, and now that the outfit and like pouch is out, runecrafting is much more fun. So I think I'll try to runecraft as much as possible. Um, and that sort of goes hand in hand with like mining day alt. I'll probably do that AFKing as well as redwoods. Um, making jewelry, keeping up with potions, thieving. I definitely want a blood shard or a few blood shards. Um, doing Zolra. So that's like all pretty standard stuff. So as far as the actual set goals that I have laid out for me, um, the first category of stuff is collection log. I can actually cross this off because I just got this before the video. Spoiler alert. Um, yeah, collection log stuff. So I am not like totally a completionist slash collection log type person, but it is stuff I enjoy. I, I like doing collection log types of things. I enjoy mini games. So this is sort of like an aspect of the game that I'm going to be working on. It's not gonna like be my primary focus, but it is you know definitely going to be part of it so i don't have a fish barrel yet that's a extremely useful item for crombons hunting the fishing pet um and just in general for like uh banking sturgeon at barb fishing for like barb lore or whatever that's definitely an item i need um i'd like to complete the tithe farm log for the farming outfit because i'm planning on doing a lot of farming and i know it's not like technically efficient to get but just so I don't know, I feel like it would be cool to get the actual outfit. I don't know, it's just something I wanna do. Um, I wanna do Volcanic Mine for the Alter Compost spell. I haven't done Volcanic Mine. I did three tick four G for 99 mining, so I need to sort of like learn how to do this. Um, this would be for doing herb runs on the Lunar spell book, so I can use the spell instead of the bottomless compost bucket on the standard spell book. I'd like to do LMS and get the Switchblade for Tob. Uh, I like the ranger roll more, but I feel like it would be just nice to get the swift blade, and it's sort of like a flex item on an Iron Man. Um, skilling pets, this is definitely something that is going to be like the primary source of what my XP gains are going to be over the next like little bit. Uh, just because like I've done a lot of skilling this past month, so I'm not really interested in like just diving headfirst into EHP gaming. Um, so yeah, doing Redwoods primarily probably for the beaver 
doing black chins because those will be helpful for doing some like combat achievements and that sort of thing. Uh, fish barrel carambons for the heron, sepulchre for the squirrel slash dark acorn slash uh, ring of endurance, which I still need. And then just doing farming and I'll probably add in like doing a tree run until I get the pet uh, or until like I worry about capping 200 mil farming, which <laughs> I don't know if that's like a legitimate worry for me, but it, it might become one if I go super dry on the pet. So we'll see. Uh, Barbarian Assault. Uh, let me just show you guys. Close that and go to Collections, Logged, Minigames, Barbarian Assault. Oh, that was just the first one. Um, I have a decent amount of this completed just because I really like Barbarian Assault. Um, and I think I'll just go back and uh, finish the log minus the pet for now. Um, this is a pet that I actually like. am excited to grind just because I like BA, but this is definitely one of the collection log things that I will enjoy and do. Um, I'm not like aiming for some like super high collection log thing. This is just like stuff that now I'm maxed. I like won't feel bad about doing because like, I don't have to worry about like, I don't know, being like super efficient anymore. Um, I do enjoy being efficient and skilling, but I think for now I'm going to save like hardcore skilling for like Olympus bingos really. And when I have stuff banked and just doing like herb lore for potions and like fishing for like anglers or whatever and just like whatever comes passively comes passively it's not like i'm definitely not going for 200 mil all but i'm gonna play with sort of like a long-term mindset uh, if that makes sense uh, let's go back to the plan so the next thing is to get the Z lot outfit and the emblem of the damned from shades of morton uh, that's just good for some post max prayer uh, ham joint from easy clues and there's a lot of clue grinds that i'm gonna do definitely i'm gonna be grinding a lot of clues post max championscape uh i don't think i have enough cannonballs from corp at the moment to grind this out entirely but um i think i have enough to do like a few at least so this is definitely a grind that i want to do because i like the look of the championscape a lot ring of endurance i mentioned that Guardians of the Rift, I talked about that, but this is a log that I really want to complete just because it's it's great XP and zero time collection log stuff, so that's always good. And doing Zolcano for the tool seeds. Uh, if you don't know, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this, but I <laughs> had a tool seed when I was like a really early game iron, um, like newbie, just got into Prif, didn't know like anything about the game really, and I got a tool seed and I didn't know what it was, and like I just left it in my bank and then like weeks weeks later i like really needed money for something and i alked the tool seed because it was like a, a decent alk and i was like what the hell is this i don't know what this is so that is something which is just like <laughs> one of the worst things i could have done like i cannot believe i did that looking back on it now because this is just like a terrible grind to do so yeah i'm gonna grind uh i think three tool seeds is what you need for the harpoon the pickaxe and the axe obviously you can do just like with one and you can sort of just like trade it between them and do like one grind at a time sort of but um, i feel like it would be nice to have all three i don't know um so that is the collection log goals that i have at the moment uh if there's anything else that you guys can think of in terms of like fun collection log stuff um and i'm gonna look through it as well and sort of like do whatever appeals to me but if you have any ideas about any other grinds I could do, not only regards collection log, but in terms of anything, you can leave it in the comments. Uh, I'm definitely not at a loss for things to do. Like I'm as addicted to this game as ever, if not more addicted now. But um, yeah, if you have any ideas, feel free to suggest them. Uh, so now into the PVM. So PVM, the goals I have are super, super long-term. And they're goals that are sort of macro and are liable to change depending on how lucky or unlucky I go on certain items. Um, the first thing, this is sort of like a collection log type thing, but Revenant Weapons, POH Obelisk. These are nice to have, good quality of life in the Obelisk, and Revenant Weapons are really good for... I'm going to turn off the game sounds here. Um, really good for hunting wilderness pets and items, so th that's definitely something I want. Uh, I need to go back to court for the arcane, but also just the Elijah and super like these are super long-term goals These first three things 2k CM 
Uh, I actually, I don't know if you guys think this is a stupid idea or not, but I'm tempted to just only do CMs because I would like at some point to finish the Chambers collection log. And I think the most macro efficient way to do it is to just do CMs until 2000 and hope you get every other item by the time you get the 2K CM cape. Like even if doing CMs with a BOFA is less points per hour, I think it's like actually more macro efficient in terms of the collection log because you're getting closer to 2K CM and that takes so long that like by the time you get there, you probably have the other items. I don't know if I'm just thinking about this in completely the wrong way, but and that might change once I actually start doing CMs and realize how terrible they are or something, but we'll see. 2K TOB, um, if I finish the log and the hard mode log before I get to 2K, then I, I this will probably never happen, but we'll see. CAs, uh, I have 171 out of 421. I have zero of the tiers completed. This is definitely something that I'm going to jump into now that I'm maxed. Uh, now, as far as like the macro plan for the PVM stuff, um, I was doing Nightmare before I jumped into this like maxing month. Um, so I'm going to go back and I would really like to get full Inquisitor and a mace. Like that's just like a dream gear set for me. Um, that's something I'd really like to do. And I know it takes an extremely long amount of time, but we'll see. I don't know. I think for now I'll go to a thousand Nightmare and sort of see how far that gets me with Inquisitor. Um, it sort of just depends how lucky I get. Um, Raids 3, they said, is coming out in August, so I would like to get an Arcane before then. Um, that's sort of wishful thinking, because Corp can take anywhere from, like, 10 minutes to 6 months for you to get an Arcane, so <laughs> I don't know, we'll see what happens. I would like to get a Saint from TOB before I do a bunch of CM, just because it would make it a lot easier. Uh, regardless of whether it's CMs or regulars, no prep. It would just be way easier to do it with the Sang. Um, grinding Chambers for a Tebow, obviously. Next for Torva and TOB for Scythe. So just like the really big ticket, ticket like dream gear items that everyone really has on their iron. Um, you saw the gear I had. I have like decent gear and I have like both prayer scrolls from raids and just like sort of I would say like the bare minimum that a reasonable person gets before they sort of like are at the point where they max. But definitely now I want to jump into more PVM and get a lot more of this gear down, especially before raids three. Hopefully I can get at least some of this sorted out before then. Uh, now the next thing is this sort of falls under collection log, but I want to get all the master clue requirements and items. Um, so here's a list of them. I'm not going to go through all of them individually, um, but because everyone basically knows what they are. But um, these are just good items to have, and it would mean I could complete every clue I get, which would be awesome. Uh, next is Slayer Goals. I just have Disable av Aviancies here because that's just a reminder to me because I completed Arma. I don't want to like get an Aviancy task when I go back to Duradel. But my plan is to go and do Duradel Slayer. Uh, do like all my inferno tasks do all the boss tasks and like do every boss task I get like pet hunt all the slayer bosses um, do like dragons to get the visage do just like basically all the collection log stuff in terms of slayer I need a eternal gem and an imbued heart still so that's definitely something that I need to get working on as well because those are both very useful items uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it with the post-max plans. Like I said, uh, the entire game is sort of open to me at the moment. And I have tons of plans, as you saw, but I'm totally open to suggestions if you guys have any about sort of the direction that I can go in in terms of any of those avenues, whether it's clues or collection log or various PVM goals. Uh, I'm just really excited to get into <laughs> the rest of the game, really, aside from skilling. Um, like I said, I am going to be doing skilling, but mostly for the skilling pets at first for now. And I'm going to keep it sort of confined to Olympus bingos and grinding for pets at the moment. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, as far as rambles and videos, I'm t 
tempted now that I have a ton of like little small goals. It's sort of like a return to early game to make more like progress type videos where I record like clips of me like before I do a grind, while I get, do a grind, like getting items, that sort of stuff, as opposed to just like showing you collection log slots completed. Um, sort of like how Creel does it or uh, the guy in Olympus, not hard. Um, but I don't know, I sort of like just doing rambles, but I'll see how I feel and if it's possible for me to record. Cause like sometimes it's annoying if like, you know, I can't always like be recording sometimes like my house is super loud or that sort of stuff so i don't know we'll see i the rambles are just sort of like a comfy thing because you just hit record and talk for a while and <laughs> like turn it off and then upload it but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i did max the iron man after five thousand hours played so yeah i hope you enjoyed leave a comment with any suggestions that you have uh for stuff i can do uh and yeah thank you for watching guys Peace.